Because the fire's going to yep. go out. Hi, viewers. Look at the centipede here. Huge one. Man, look at that. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get that to bite us, mate. We want to be careful, eh? <laughs> Man, man, you And I'm face. sitting right next to it, too. <laughs> Coffee time. Oh, I think it's you yeah. for another coffee. Would you guys like another? <laughs> um, well, we ran out of cookies. Would you like another cock? Um, coffee. Cocky. <laughs> <laughs> I said cocky. <laughs> Bloody. Hey, what's on stupid. your mind, mate? Hey, oh. Bloody hell. Well, no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Let's have some coffee, eh? Hi, right, viewers. Like some marshmallows? Now that's. We go yaoi searching. We go on fires and marshmallows now, eh? Yeah, let the yowies come to us. We don't go. We don't do it the other way around. We stay in one spot. The yowies come to us. Look at that, man. Beautiful. Change our yowie search. Oh yeah. Get on there. Get on there. <laughs> get on there, get on the stick. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> on Adam Sandler's movies, you know. Yeah. <coughs> now he, now I tell you, he's funny. You can do it. <laughs> that. Look at that, marshmallows mate, going camping. Now this is the deal. Mmm. Awesome. Want some marshmallows? Yeah, let me put on the stick for you. There you go, there's one there right there. Beautiful. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> He's a shit, isn't he? <laughs> hey? Sit around, sit around here and do guru stuff. Bloody hell, man, you need to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> I am out. I know. What was that? Yeah. Man, like when I was over there, man, I heard noises when you were sitting here, man. And that's really cooking now, eh? Right? It's in to come in, man. Oh, yeah. In there, let's... Yeah, I see night's falling now. Hmm. They're coming from... I reckon they're gonna come in from miles. I tell ya, when I was filming you, I was holding the camera here on you. There's face recognition just over here. The curious of the fire. Let's, let's the see curious, if it happens again. The curious of us. No, it's not happening now. Hey, the curious, man. Yeah. I hope you're enjoying the fire, the marshmallows, and the relaxing. We drew some noises before, trying to draw them in. We got some a little bit of activity, but not what we expected anyway. I think we might have to go back to our old ways and just um, go out there and get them. Man, every time we go out and we go into the bush, they always follow us. All the time. Well, we're in the bush. No, yeah, I know. But we're camping. We're doing something different. We decided to do something completely yeah. different. And we're doing this. And this is actually really good for us in any way. You know, because they're attracted to the fire, our noise, our laughter. You know? Like the Bigfoot in America, mate, they love kids, man. They're attracted to, to kids, man. Oh, yeah. Because they want that human um, contact. Actually, in some of, the, um, some of the national parks... Children do go missing from time to time. There's been reports of um, a child who's disappeared and within a couple of hours has ended up like 40 kilometres away in the, in the same national park. <sighs> now, how can the child go, say, say within an hour or two, mm. how can a small child wander off and be like 40 kilometres away no, by itself? No, no way. Something, and, you know, I'm not talking about, like, disappeared forever. There's cases mm. of child, unfortunately... Mm bless their little souls, you know, they haven't been found, some mm. of them, but the ones who have been found, there's been a report where they found a child, and like I said, in um, 
I think it's in the Washington National Park there. Mm. Good 40 kilometres away. Yeah. And they actually found the child. And it was like the child was by itself standing there. It's like, well... Yeah, it's how weird. Did the, how did the child get there? Yeah. Sasquatches, and this is what they're saying, is the Sasquatches have actually... Um, I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, the Sasquatches might mean no uh, well, but they, they obviously um, take the children too sometimes. That's freaky, man. Yeah, that's freaky. There was a situation where FBI and police was involved, and they kept it quiet as mm. much as they could. Mm. And the father of the child, he's, he, I don't think he ever found his child, unfortunately. Mm. And um, this is another case. And... They had an eyewitness say that they seen, they sure they seen the child being carried off in the distance by some sort of creature behind the trees in the distance. Jeez. Now, if they followed that up properly, they might have had chance, maybe mm. possibility of finding, maybe. Mm. But they didn't follow through until later, and then they wardened all the um, park off, and they did an investigation, and they just kept it. That's, hush, hush. Yeah, that's stupid. Really oh, yeah, stupid. okay. <clears throat> so viewers out there, especially in the US, I mean, we don't hear a lot of stories about that here in Australia so much with the Yowie, but um, especially in the US cases, all these guys out there who enjoy your national parks, just, I know you just love your kids and you keep eye on your kids, but just um, watch they're right near your side at all times mm. because there is cases of them, and I'm not just talking about occasionally, there is cases where... Um, uh, police, a, a certain police officer uh, retired, um, studied it carefully and found um, across the board, across the whole of America, in the different national parks, children miss, going missing all the time. And they, they put it back to, a lot of the uh, Sasquatch believers out there actually put it back to um, the Sasquatch, yeah. barefoot, taking the children. So... If you're watching this, whether you believe in Bigfoots or Sasquatches or you don't, just if you do go to a big, and I'm talking a big national park, I'm not just talking a little park, big national parks out there in the US, like Yellowstone, you know, Washington, all these different places, or if you're up in the Pacific Rim there and different parts up there, yeah, just just keep your kids close by, because <laughs> yeah. you never know. I reckon, eh? And where, even if you're a sceptic, it's better to be uh, safe than sorry, so, yeah. I saw that flame. That's beautiful. Like something thrown at a rock, or I'm uh, sorry, like something thrown at a tree, or what you saw was Jason and uh, doing some tree knocking, making some sound through the the bush, hoping to, hoping to, to attract the yowies. <coughs> well, here we are viewers getting the spy cam. The rain had just set in, it's getting heavier and heavier, we just put out the fire, unfortunately it's time to move on because of the rain, and I hope we got something on spy cam. <coughs> there have been a little bit of activity around, but we are going to move on now, but if this rain keeps on going, we might have to call it a night, but um, well, from having a nice fire, yeah from having a nice, um, nice warm and shower and kept warm and all this, till this cold rain, it's going to be really annoying. <coughs> so 
to any of my viewers just stay tuned and um, stay with us you alright? Here we go. Right here on the dirt track. Woo! Hi viewers, Jason and I are back on the track here. And guess what we found? A right footprint. It's clear as day. It is clear as day. See that? See the impression there? Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. See, that? see the hills here? And then see like it's the toe, the big right toes here. And it goes down. It's actually a fair bit of impression in the mud there too. Hmm. Yeah. Only about it's not a large, large foot. It's probably about similar size to ours, maybe slightly bigger. And it's heading in the direction we're going too. What do you hear? It's snapping through there. Something's over here.